Hello, I'm Bradley and welcome to my channel. First things first, if you're new here, please subscribe. You don't have to, of course, but it really helped me out in where I'm trying to get my channel to be. Okay, so Evisualign 5, this is my fifth set. So we're, do you know, what? I cannot just, I cannot believe how the time is progressing. Um, I wouldn't necessarily say it's going fast, but I'm on my fifth line already. It may sound contradictory, <laughs> but it's going really well. So, do you know what? I think that's the one thing I want to get across in this clip today, is that it's going really well. Um, tripped myself up, I have to admit, um, hypothetically, with the aligner. Um, the one thing I'm finding quite tricky with, even though I take the aligner out every time I eat something, or if I drink something other than water, um, I take it out, and then I, I leave it for a couple of minutes, and I come and brush my teeth, and then I put them back in. So, but however, the problem with that being, if you've eaten something with a strong colour, for example, some sort of spice dish or curry or coffee, for example, or something with a stronger colour, then it seems to sort of hang around in your saliva, even if you do rinse your mouth or even if you do brush your teeth, because on some of the edges, I don't mean... Well, you can see, I mean, the actual edges of the plastic at the top. Luckily, and thankfully, you can't see that, but it really, really bugs me. So that's one thing I've noticed. Um, but I've just really tried to be a bit more careful with that now. Um, but sometimes, unfortunately, there's no real way of getting away from that. But I know that's a small sort of thing in the background, but I just wanted to sort of um, highlight that, that. That's the kind of the only issue I found, really. Um, I've got a bit of a ceramic nodule here, which the aligner fixes to, to be able to push um, and help these teeth here. And as you can see, by the way, my arch, which was collapsing in a bit this um, this way as I'm doing all the action on the clip, as you can see, it's really starting to bring them back out to where they have that perfect sort of bow alignment. And see, I didn't have a problem here. Here, I can I haven't been able to see that about a chalet for a little while. And I didn't realise actually that how much of an issue it was. But you know, when you have them on for the first couple of days, it's really quite uncomfortable and it can be a little bit painful. Nothing which a little bit of sort of paracetamol or something like that um, can't calm down. Um, and when I've had to do that, um, when I've had this one changed, this one wasn't too painful. It was just quite a dull ache. Um, but then what I usually find is the next one will be a little bit more painful in the first couple of days. But I've just noticed that actually smiling I can really see it. I can see the treatment kind of coming together now. Um, so on my fifth liner, I'm starting to notice, I'd say, real change. So of course I've noticed change in movement before this, but literally just like, boom, it's happening. Teeth are moving on this aligner. And as I say, the only kind of negative I would say is just be really, really careful of the staining. If you're thinking about aligners, do you know what? I do not regret it in the slightest. I had my teeth straightened um, and I had them done privately, so I had to pay for them here in the UK. Strangely enough, just after I left school, because here, um, our NHS system here in the UK, I believe, and I hope that's still correct now, that up until the age of 16 or in full-time education, you can have um, you can have your dental treatment covered for on the NHS of uh, of having braces. Now, of course, there isn't a choice of what type of uh, brace you have. It's it's fitted, and of course, it's to address any issues with your your uh, dental health. Please don't quote me on that because I haven't had that done. Well, I'm 29 now, and I had that. Um, I had the assessment when I was way back at school, and then when I hit 18, I paid for them then, and I had them on. I want to say for around about 18 months, and that was wired. Um, and had a really great experience with them. And funnily enough, the same doctor or, or dental specialist or dent, whatever you want to call them, um, the same person is actually doing my treatment now. So they've actually seen me grow up in a way um, and into my adulthood where they've seen how my teeth changed. Now, because I've got a, a few, I say a few, a couple of, a lot of health issues in the background, um, the thing which was being looked into um, is potentially holding a big question mark over how it's affected the side of my teeth. Um, on this side. But however, we're addressing it, we're working on it. Um, I had my assessment now. I've had my, um, I don't know if we covered that last time, quite, can't quite remember. I think it was just on the cusp of going into this aligner um, where I had my, my teeth looked at um, because in a couple of days I'll be going on to my six aligner. Um, so unfortunately, it's been so busy, I just haven't been able to fit this one in. Um, but I've had them looked at now, I've had them all um, ever so slightly uh, sort of areas where it needed a bit more space for the perfect alignment in the front. Um, I've had that adjusted now, um, and I've had the edges polished ever so slightly, so there's a little bit more space for things to move out. And it's helped because this here is really, really nice. I'm really liking how my teeth are looking. Um, and I just want to put that out there as well. It really helps your confidence. I'm not 
vain, I'm not boastful, I'm not big headed or anything like that at all. It's just I do take pride in my appearance. I do it for myself. Um I really, really like my teeth to look bright. Um I really like them really ultra white. Um and that's just me. It always has been since I've had them done when I was a lot younger. Um but yeah, do you know what this experience of fifth aligner is going really, really well. There's nothing negative to report, I would say. No, as I say, this nodule here was giving me uh, some real bad ulcers underneath here, but that's even calmed down now on this one here. That stopped. I'm noticing some change, huge change, I would say. Um, looking forward to going on to my sixth aligner. Um, no problems with talking now at all. No issues with uh, sort of dry mouth, which I was having when I first started having the aligners. Um, and everything uh, is pretty damn comfortable, I have to admit. Um, and yeah, it's it gets a bit achy sometimes. Um, I would like to think that I'm really good at as soon as I finished eating, I rinse my mouth, brush my teeth, put them back in straight away. But of course, just be really, really careful. I suppose the only actual thing I'm not so good on, this is my case of my aligners in, is you get given chewies and that's to help um, the alignment of the vision line fit as snug as possible to the teeth. So the only thing what they did tell me about is just having to keep Oh, that hit a little bit of a sore area then. <laughs> um, it's just having to uh, bite down on, on these chewies, which is just like little bits of rubber, um, so almost like rubber tubing, actually. Um, and then literally just doing that, just so you get that snug bit of the aligner against the teeth. And, and apparently that helps... Um, your, your overall effect and your overall results. So I'm really working at trying to remember to do that every time I put them in. And um, that's about the only thing I would say. Um, the app dental monitoring, absolutely fantastic. I just do my scan through my phone and the little, um, the little sort of scanning equipment device, which they give you really nice and straightforward, nice and easy. If, you, if I have any issues, um, I can actually just put on there, um, on the messenger, a little bit like, um, what you would use on Facebook actually. And, um, you, if I've got an issue, if I've, I've there's any concerns or anything, I can put that on there. Um, and the specialist comes back to me straight away or somebody from the center comes back to me straight away. Um, and I actually had a video sort of conference call uh, with the person who was looking after me. And he said that everything was going really, really well. I was doing fantastically keeping things clean, which I do anyway. Um, but I could un totally understand if you've got a lot of ceramic modules, it's really important to make sure that you keep up on your oral health with that as well. Um, I've always enjoyed doing flossing, always enjoyed using lots of whitening products, mouthwash, so that's me all over. Um, so yeah, complimented on that. Everything's going really well. The dental monitoring app's really, really good. I think I've got my next appointment now in May to have them looked at in person. But yeah, everything is going really well. And as you can see, that alignment here is really improving. going really well. I'm really, really pleased with the results so far. And we're only on line of five. So shortly in a few days, we'll change to a line of six. Um, I will probably, because I'm really busy at the moment with things going on, I will I will try to get that one as soon as my aligners are changed, and we'll go through the immediate effects uh, of what's going on then. But other than that, just a flying sort of update. Um, but yeah, everything's going really well. I'm really, really pleased. Um, whoever's watching this and you're thinking, do I even have the consultation about aligners? The first thing I'd always recommend is have the chat, have a chat with a specialist. There are a lot of providers now, and which we're starting to see, which you can do it online and never, never actually going anywhere. I would always, always recommend sitting down, having a conversation with somebody in person. And your first point of call would be once you go for your checkup at your dentist, mentioning them, they can initiate the referral for you and go from there and always go with a reputable uh, dental professional. Um, and yeah, and always do your research on that as well. I never had to because, of course, uh, the center I'm using um, looked after me through my uh, dental uh, strength and care um, when I was when I was 18. So those years ago now. And I remember with uh, having my initial checkup whilst I was at school with them as well, not the same person. Um, I had the same person when I had um, who I've got now is though I, when I had them done when I was 18. Um, yes. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, really, really good. So make sure you do your research on that. And do you know what? If you want to ever ask a question, if you want to leave me a comment or anything, talk it down below in regards to anything, of course, particularly around this clip as well, please, please do so. OK, thank you very much indeed for being here. Thank you very much for watching this. As ever, it's great to have your company. And until next time, I will be seeing you real soon. Bye for now.